up gamers? Hey once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game and Reverse the L channel. So what do we have today? Today we have emulators for the PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.68. Now it is not recommended to update. This is for all the gamers that were placed on 3.68 automatically or bought a new PlayStation Vita and it's on firmware 3.68. So we will need QCMA installed in your PC. I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description. Also Silica and Pinas front end of the PSV image tools. Now I'm going to download the Windows 64 setup. It's going to take a few moments to download itself. So just give it a moment. Now also what I would recommend you guys, you guys can read the change log on what the change is for the PSV image tools. It's a pretty nice tool. Now you guys see, I will go ahead and leave the link so that you guys can get QCMA and you will install it for Windows. I already have it installed so just get that QCMA so you can go ahead and do this. Also you can go to my Twitter page, you will find under my moment that I have some links, some examples that you can get. <laughs> so right now I'm just looking for an example for the emulators. So you guys can go in there and browse and see what you guys can find, which is pretty cool. The 3.65 emulators work on the 3.67 and 3.68. And I have like some music in there, examples also from my videos. So go check it out. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now I am installing the PSV image tools. Okay, cool. So now that I have my two tools ready to go, the PSV image tools and QCMA, then we move on to the PlayStation Vita. So we go to settings. Then we go to system information. Okay, and then auto start settings. Remember to disable the download update file for system software. Remove the check mark. You don't want to be updated automatically. Now this PlayStation Vita is on 3.67. I'm just going to go ahead and and again, update this PlayStation Vita to the newest firmware. Currently, I have VHBL installed. And I'm going to go ahead and delete it so that we can go ahead and create this video. So just follow along. Make sure you have those tools. And then we can go ahead and make the magic happen. Okay, so we go to our settings. Now, I am going to try to update so I go to system update update via Wi-Fi now remember if you're in a lower firmware you don't have to do this now I got an error now because I am using the Hankaku DNS it won't allow me to update which is pretty cool so if you want to check that video how to do that it's really simple it's just change the DNS settings to manual and putting those numbers in there but for this video, I'm just going to disable it so that I can update to 3.68. So you can check my previous video and verify the DNS settings on how to do it and what it is expected. So I recommend it for you guys to go check it out. So do not update guys, 3.68, use the DNS if you're on 365, 367. The Hankaku DNS will enable you the PSN access. I am doing this because I have various PlayStation Vitas on different firmwares. You guys can see I have the 1000 the FAT and then I have other PlayStation Vitas. That's on the 3.63, that's on 3.65 and so. This one on 3.60 and I have on 3.67. You guys can see the system firmware 3.68. So we move along. Now we have access to the PlayStation Network. So I'm gonna download a game. I have Alien Zombie Dead. You guys know that's my favorite. But you don't have to buy a game. 
if you have demos around your region search for a demo so we put in demo and then in the US region we have local Rocco so I'm going to go ahead and download this game now the size is 188 megabytes that's why I prefer alien zombie death also there's pet saddle club demo so I'm getting both just in case okay so now I have my two games ready to go I am going to be using one of those games for the BHBL so we move on to the PC we connect the PlayStation Vita via QCMA we have already had installed QCMA then we move on to the console and we launch content manager now within content manager we're going to go to PSV system or PlayStation Vita system we're going to go to PSP other and then for this example we're going to use the pet saddle club demo and then we're going to copy it to the PC so from the console to the PC okay so now that we have that copied we refresh the database from QCMA okay so now you guys can see we launch the PSV image tools now to double check we go to our folder for the PS Vita and then we're gonna go to P game so we're going to add an account or we select account manager if you're new to the PSV image tools you need to do this so we are going to add account that AID is that random number within the folder of the PlayStation Vita so all those numbers you will need to copy I would just do control C or right click and copy and within the tool you're going to do control V it will not allow you to right click and paste if you click on the question mark it gives you a little description so control V and now you just name it as however you want I'm just going to name it PS Vita 3.68 and then add account or you can do the auto but I like to do it manually we click OK now we have our profile or account ready for PSV image tools so now we launch easy installers we select VHBL install we select the profile and we create account then we're going to select the game in this case it's pet saddle club demo and then we patch with VHBL look at the magic happen in the background and it'll give you that VHBL backup has been created and to copy the save data as well so a separate save data will be created in the P save data game folder within the PlayStation Vita so refresh your database we go back to our documents PS Vita we go to save data Our profile and you guys will see VHBL if it's not in there I'll go ahead and leave it in the description just in case now you're gonna get your ROMs or your emulator you can go to my Twitter page and get an example in this case I'm going to get the Nintendo so now it is a save data file we just transfer it to the save data within our folders and the PC now we as always refresh the database QCMA's database and we move on to the PlayStation Vita now we do it from PC to the console we go to PSP other so first we copy the game Pet Saddle Club demo and then we do the save data so we do VHBL Sorry, I know that the Nintendo save data is not in there or emulator, but 
I had to transfer it afterwards, so you guys will see in a moment. So I'm transferring the VHBL save data, and now I am going to transfer the Nintendo. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. So this, our VHBO will detect it. So now, if everything works fine, we have VHBL. Look at that, pretty cool. This is amazing, exciting guys. I mean, it still works. VHBL in our lives. So now you guys can see, we have the Nintendo Nestor J. Then we go within it, Nestor JJ. I don't know why I named it with double J's, but we select circle, we go to save data, circle, then Nintendo Nestor J, and then again, and we select ROMs, and now I'm going to select Galaga.NES, so there you have it guys, you guys can go ahead and check my Twitter, so if this helped, remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, Share with your friends. As always, Gamer Rebirth, out.